Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to be setting up our sketchbooks. So it's really cool while we're visual, while we're virtually learning that everybody has their own sketchbook at home. But when we come back to school, there will be 500 red sketchbooks in the art room. So what we need to do is make sure that we mark them so we know which one is ours. So I'm going to be using a permanent marker. And if you have a Sharpie or any other kind of black permanent marker, uh, this is a good way to do this. If you're not allowed to use a permanent marker at your house, you should definitely ask a mom or dad first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one, two lines right here and one line all the way across, okay? So right here on this first line, it's kind of wet, so I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Um, on this first line, I'm going to write my number of my grades. So for example, if I'm in kindergarten, I'm gonna put a K here, okay? If I'm in first grade, I'm gonna put a one. If I'm in second grade, I'm gonna put a two. If I'm in third grade, I'm gonna put a three. If I'm in fourth grade, I'm gonna put a four. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a one for first grade and then a little dash and then I'm gonna write my teacher's name. So you might have to look at something with your teacher's name on it. I'm gonna use, um, I just saw Miss Auker's class, so I'm gonna write Auker. And once you come back to the art room, I'll know that this book is a first grader's book in Miss Auker's class. On the bottom is where you're gonna write your name. So I'm gonna write the word name. You're gonna put your name right here. Do not write the word name, you write your name. Okay, so this is gonna be your number of your grade, K for kindergarten, one, two, three, four for everybody else. Um, your teacher's name. So for example, if you're in Miss Brumlevy's class, you're gonna write one Brumlevy, okay? If you're in Miss Condra's class, you're gonna write K, Condra. If you're in Dr. B's class, you're gonna write two B Z for Dr. B and Miss Zeller. Okay. Once you have those two things on here, the top of this is yours to design. What's great to use about a Sharpie marker is that you can use your Sharpie marker to design whatever you like. I like to start out with letters. Um, I like my big A for art, so I'm gonna make a big letter A. You can make any letter you like, or you can make a shape or a favorite object. But we're gonna go ahead and design the top. The idea is not to color it all in solid black, but just to kind of make a design that will be easy to spot among all the 500 red sketchbooks. And that's it. We're gonna finish adding our designs and that's it. 